Welcome back. Welcome back, my naughty little hamsters. That's right, I said hamsters. My first guest tonight is an Academy Award-winning actress whose classic films include Bull Durham, Thelma and Louise, and the Rocky Horror Picture Show. She has five films headed for theatres soon, including the new drama Elizabethtown. Five films? <laughs> She'll be back. Anyway, Elizabethtown opens October 14th. Take a look at this. Please welcome the incandescent Susan Sarandon, everybody. Changed since I hosted. You you were a host on I this show. I was a host. We had liquor when I was here. <laughs> they didn't give you any liquor. No, I mean out here we had. Liquor. Oh really? Yeah. Well, I'm pretty toasted right now. Aren't I? <laughs> I, I, I'm okay. Did you enjoy hosting this show? Did you like doing it? I did, but that's because I just told everybody I didn't know what I was doing, so there was no pressure. Well, that's what I do. Uh, <laughs> but you can't do that for months and months. You have to have a learning curve. Apparently uh, not. <laughs> some point you have to catch on. No? All right, never mind. All right, no. I, 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 do you think you'd like to be a talk show host? Do you think that would be, I mean, if this acting thing doesn't work out? <laughs> no, um, wouldn't. I, not, I, you know, I, 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 not on a regular basis. We could take shifts or something, but yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Occasionally, no. I'll go and make a sensitive movie, and you, uh, you know, you come in and say, yeah, done deal. Now, that's, now, literally what? Envision this sensitive movie. Well, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's only movies that you were going to do that you. Uh, that, that's, so, for example, the one you won the Oscar for, Dead Man Walking, uh -huh. fantastic movie, uh -huh. and you played the, the nun in that movie. Uh -huh. I could do that. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, I couldn't, but something you, like that, but not as good. Maybe like a tranny version of that. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, do you think it would lose some of the drama from it? I think it, it would though? gain some drama. Oh, right, right. Now, you're in uh, one of my favourite movies, uh, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. That's one of the very... Yeah. Speaking of trannies, exactly. And, and they just... Uh-huh. Oh, so many people have lingerie in their pocketbooks. Yeah. Oh, well, look, they're... Oh, they're yeah, so... Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, over here, but, too. But I heard you did it. I did. In the West End of London, in the, in the theatre, for a year, I played Brad Majors. Um, the, oh, uh, see, we were just in the wrong place. We could have been like singing together. No, no, you, you, were, you were in a much better production. <laughs> Remember, Brad Majors, the all-American guy? That was the part so I played. So you were in your underpants and everything? Yeah, I, I danced around in my underpants and, uh, and a little kind of singlet. Uh, <laughs> that was, but that, do you still get kind of people talking to you about that? Because it's kind of like you join a cult a cult when you do that thing, isn't it? Hey, you... don't dream it, be it. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah, totally yeah. there. But I get, I, I get, um, I still get fan mail. Well, not fan mail. I still get threats. From, <laughs> <laughs> from, yeah, uh, that's not quite the same as fan mail. That's the kind of fan mail I get. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, you know, saying I've withheld my child's allowance in college. It's time that they stopped going to see this movie. Will you please? exercise some authority and write to them and tell them, hang it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I don't. But it is the, it's America's Midnight Movie and it's been that way for, how, when did that movie come out? Like 25 years ago? No, was it? No, I think, no. No, no, 20, no. no, no it's it's about five years ago, I think. About five, <laughs> about five, about five years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But do, do you do any singing and dancing now? Do you ever dance around in your underwear? <laughs> Yeah, do you really fake orgasms? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but only when I'm on my own. <laughs> I, only, I only fake them when I'm paid. <laughs> you know, like White Palace, that didn't really happen. Really? But you probably didn't see that, or this would be too embarrassing a conversation. Yeah, no, I... Don't see that movie. I don't, I don't need to talk to you about faking orgasms, but if you want to talk about faking orgasms... <laughs> no, I mean, if you want to get, like, ready for your sensitive roles, maybe we should switch to something else in no, case no, anybody's yeah, yeah. watching. Or... Hey, do you get... Do you get... Because you met uh, Tim uh, the, on Bull Durham, where you had some very hot and heavy scenes together. Oh, well, I had... Yeah, more with Kevin, I think. Yeah, but, but... Yeah. Did they get into a fight in real life? Will they get mad at each other? 
You mean because of me? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, actually, Kevin was married at the time. That's Hollywood. <laughs> Um, I don't think they got into any fights about me. In any way, I would just say, oh, come on, you guys. Get Do you get here. jealous if you see Tim doing a love scene with someone when it's very passionate and stuff? No, wait, you know when, he's work when you see it in the movie theater? No, you know, that. I kind of feel like I'm buying coupons for me to do things when he's doing it. Nice. Things. Very nice. And smart. Right? Yeah. I give him a lot of rope. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. Yeah, go on. Have a good time. Act your pants off, literally. Because <laughs> it'll be fine. We have to take a break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back with Susan Sarandon. Everybody. Back, my lovelies. I'm here with Susan Sarandon. You have a lot of youngins here, huh? Yeah. yeah, they're they're crazy for the for the rock and roll for the NXS. They love that. Yeah, they like that. Yeah, yeah we, my son um, brought me up to speed on um, the new guy. Yeah, he I, likes his Vegas song. He liked the Vegas song, but well, when he whispered. Uh, yeah. That's that's how I feel about it. Yeah. You've got well, you got three kids. I have three kids, but they have very large personalities, so it seems like much more. <laughs> I saw I saw your daughter in a, in a terrific movie called Saved. She's she was great, great, in, great that, yeah. in that movie, wasn't yeah. she? Yeah, she is. She, the is she working now? Is she acting now? Nope, she's in college. She's actually studying in Italy. She's in her third year. And college in Italy. Well, she's she was uh, here for two years. Right. Now. She's in a program over there. Brown has a program over there, so I'm going to go see her gonna, another well, week. That must be hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. And but she's doing great, and she's gonna. I think she wants to do this, you know. But to she's the, gonna. She I was don't, great you know, in that film. She's, she's very, really good. very she's good. She's very funny. Did you see that movie? A couple times. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I like that movie. I like when she speaks in tongues. I mean, it's hard what she had to do. Yeah, I know. And she you did. know what's interesting is that I also spoke in tongues having sex in that other film we talked about, and so for once I could give her advice about how to speak in tongues when she was having sex. In a sexual manner. You know, it's great. How that many you have... mothers would be able to talk about this kind of thing? <laughs> right? For once, it's, I knew it's something. Good. Are, you ha are you happy that the, the, are, are the rest happy. of your kids You know what? The only thing I've always been worried about having privileged kids is that they grow up with no passion for anything and, you know, they, they don't have any urge to. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, do, do you think your kids are very privileged? I, see, I keep all uh, good things away from my son. I just make sure I'm. <laughs> A, there's a glass of water and some bread, like I have. How old is he? He's four. <laughs> That'll get a little tougher yeah, as no, time no, goes no. on. No, I, you shower them with, well, of course, with everything. I think as long as they're grateful, then it's okay if they're spoiled a little bit. It's when they take it for granted. In New York, you know, it's very diverse, so you you understand where you are, and you can, you know, I mean, in terms of the food chain. And Did I you think raise your understand. kids in New York? Yeah, they're wa walking the streets. They're yeah. I try to. They're I walking try the streets. To, yeah. <laughs> Speaking in tongues. I got them out. I yeah. got them out. Yeah. They got to. They got to take the train. They have to. You know, have an allowance. They have to figure things out. I mean, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to get my 16-year-old to make his own breakfast before school. <laughs> It's, but, you know, it's hard. Just, uh, just getting like them back to, get to school was yeah, a yeah, nightmare, yeah. Well, how right? You... The first week of school, how horrible is that? They're yeah. so used to, right, see, everyone's doing that. <laughs> well, I, I didn't go back after I was 16, that was it. Yeah, but what happened between like 9 and 16? You know, that's, oh, that's that? where you have to kind of push them. <laughs> Can't remember. No, remember. No, no. And then at 16 I left school, and then look what happened to me, 12.30. <laughs> see what I'm saying? Go to school, but get an education. But you figured out what you want. You know, this is the thing. When, when your kids are very popular in school, they don't have any space to figure out what they're doing when they have everything they need. Especially among guys, the entitlement gene is really strong because you're told the whole world is yours. And, you know, at least with girls, they're told this is going to be very hard. You have to work twice as hard. You know, you're not going to get paid as much, yada, yada, yada. And then these poor boys come along, and the world tells them that, that, that it's theirs. And then all of a sudden, they hit a brick wall, and they don't know what went wrong, you know, at about in their mid-twenties. I don't know. I don't want to scare you guys. Yeah, yeah. No, you, you think you're having fun now, but it gets really bad. 
but it'll, but it'll be but all it's right. Hard. It's yeah. hard. I, I, a friend of mine once said, you know, um, girls live um, are, are told to deny their truth, and boys to live a lie. And I think there's something to be said for that. Don't think about it. Right? No, 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 you're right. <laughs> it's, it's too late for me. It's, it's heavy, been lovely but, visiting know. with you, Susan. Oh, lovely to see you, Susan Sandlin, everybody. We'll be right back with Tom Everett Scott. That is so nice, and I'm such a bitch in this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they don't you. care about that. It's the body of your work. <laughs> That's what they're applauding. Thank you. I'm applauding the body of your work. Well, I didn't. I did make an effort. You. Thank you. Did just fine. Thank you. I uh, I'm on a lot of medication right now, but don't. Uh... I think we like you best. That oh way. really? I don't yeah. know. I, I to, I tell, I'm sorry I didn't, you know, kind of snuggle up a bit more when you came out. But it's I don't cool. want to. Yeah, yeah. All right. Have you had your flu shot this year? No, I never have a flu shot. Why not? <laughs> Wait. I... <laughs> Shut up, Happy. Why do you? Why do you not have a flu shot? That was such an extreme reaction. I know. Right? To a flu shot, like, yeah, good. Take that, Al Qaeda. What are you no, doing? No, I was talking about you. Oh, sorry. Do you work for? The... Do you work for the pharmaceuticals or something? Yeah, sure. I'm on CBS. Come on. Right, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I figure the batch that they made from the last year's flu probably doesn't even match this year's flu, and yeah. I just try to stay healthy. Yeah, I so do I, but I, I missed the boat this year for some reason. You have I feel to like... stop living so large. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Look. You have to start thinking right. about your immune system first yeah, during flu all right. season. All right. Lots of green vegetables. Do you smoke? No, I don't actually. Not anymore. I stopped about ten years ago. Did you ever? Congratulations. Speak? I I do periodically in films and things like that. Do you ever make a if film? If I go so you to a bar, a cigarette? I get bored, and so right. sometimes I smoke in a bar. But did you but ever not say really. I don't smoke? Did you ever say I will make this film because the character smokes, so I can smoke in the film? I made. I made no. I made this film because I was an alcoholic who, uh, you know, had a was getting to say all those things you never get to say, really. <laughs> and I'm kind of the guy in this movie. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. I, I, I did a bit of that myself. The, uh, what is the movie about then? Tell me about this story. The movie's about Doris Duke, who was a real person, but we kind of imagine some of her conversations with her butler. She left everything to her butler. Did they have an affair? Well, he was gay, so it was probably a little unorthodox if they did. Um, <laughs> And but you know, funny foot needs a funny shoe kind of romance. And yeah, uh, all right. And I, I, you know, I just was he was... a clown or something? <laughs> he I retired think, from the clown business. I think his... he would be anything she wanted him to be. Really? I think they. Well, you'll have to see. He ends yeah. up in her clothes, actually. Really? Yeah, and that was true. That what we didn't make that up. I just think it's so brave of anybody that tries to be intimate with another person. Right. Sex aside, whatever. And right, it's a yeah. it's a very tough Intimacy thing. Intimacy requires bravery. And thought. so anybody that reaches out, no matter what the gender, the age, whatever, and says, you know, I'm going to be vulnerable to this person, I just think is a great story, and I, that's the kind of movies I'm interested in. How how do you achieve intimacy then? If you're going to say it requires bravery to achieve intimacy, I don't mean in a sexy kind of naughty way, although I do a little bit, but not not all, <laughs> not all of it. I you know. think it's hard work and it's courageous. I think that it, you know, there's a lot of the baggage that you have. And, but finally, at the end of the day, I mean, it's the only thing that really counts is if you've loved someone and someone's loved you. And it doesn't really matter if you have sex or not. Sometimes that makes it more complicated. I know this is hard for you to... Yeah. <laughs> it's just the medication. <laughs> I'm like, I'm getting something intimacy, boobies, intimacy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just the way I am tonight. I'm really sorry. Well, I think... No, know, honestly, you know what, I'm not making... You're a guy. I know, that's I, what guys are, you know... Yeah, but I'm not making nice light of what you say. I, I don't want to be unfair. That's, I don't want to be unfair, but I don't want to make light of what you're saying. Intimacy requires bravery, which I, which I think is an interesting thought. Doesn't it also require vulnerability? That but you have... it takes bravery to be vulnerable. Does I mean, it? Yeah, oh, I suppose it yeah. does. But don't you get annoyed don't at people... Don't you want to always try to protect yourself, protect yourself? You don't want to get hurt. You don't want to have your heart broken. You don't want people to know the things you hate about yourself. Oh, my God, I'm going to get so emotional. No, I'm kidding. But um, I think it's that's part of it is you don't want to feel vulnerable. You don't want to take the chance that this person could hurt you. Have you been in relationships? Many. <laughs> 
because this seems like it's all new to you. I'm just wondering. It kind of is. You should yeah. watch this show. I will. I will watch it because I'm interested in the... No, you what actually I've, should have watched it before I came I did on. see it. I'm trying to help the audience who oh, haven't seen okay. it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So... <laughs> It's very good. Thank You're you. You're very good in it. You do the drunky person, and then, then you get to know each other later. And what I think is interesting is that she left all her... I don't want to give away the end of the movie, but she left all her money well, to Well, that's him. kind of public knowledge. Right. That, that part of it, the part that's... We, we, it's not really a documentary, because there's a lot of things that we couldn't talk about. First of all, because it's not only two hours, and secondly, of all, we didn't want to get sued. So there are people that come in and out that we really couldn't deal with so it's really just this love story this odd little love story set and this with these she's funny right i'm funny yes you're very funny i'm funny yeah, yeah. and rafe is really amazing he's a very interesting actor i yeah. think you see him doing lots of very different things i've seen him doing romantic comedies and then he was in that very scary serial killer thing that he did what was that yeah i don't uh, know oh it was, oh, it was but very he did good. voldemort i mean that's about it's as scary voldemort as you can get. he took his nose off for that for real no all right <laughs> <laughs> I know, but that would be really exciting. Yeah, like, yeah I, I took my nose off for the part. Where's my Oscar? That would uh, make a fabulous junket, though. You yeah, could would, talk would, about taking your nose off. That would get you through those four days of talking about... Do you hate doing the junkets? The, 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 uh, the I try, about? when I'm choosing a film, I think, could I talk about this in a junket for four days? And if I can't, then I don't do it. Is, is that really... <laughs> Seriously. That's really it? And can I explain to my kids why I'm doing this? Why they're packing their bags yet again? Yes. And if I can, then I do. Do you take the whole family with you when you go and shoot? Yeah, but they're so them? big now. You know, when they were little, I just didn't work during the school year. Now right. that they're bigger, they're like so happy if I leave. <laughs> they're like, yeah. Uh, we're having a party. What about yeah. the? Uh, did you? Didn't you go to Africa recently? What was that? I was reading. Well, a couple of summers ago, I um, I went. Uh, we went when Tim was doing something in South Africa. I took right. the kids on safari, which was pretty funny because you're all stuck in a jeep. You know, at that time, I guess they were like twenty, and I don't know. Four years younger, what's that? 16, 16 and yeah. then 13. Right. And you can't get out or they something eats you, so you're in this, that's the rule. So you were with three, well, a 20-year-old and three teenagers? The three of teenagers? us, yeah, 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 the three of us. Tim was working and we were gallivanting around staying in tents. Did you see any dangerous animals? We saw every single animal you could. And my kids, you know, they watch so many of these nature specials. It's like, oh, look, the lion just took down the gazelle. What, okay, what's next? You know, it's like... <laughs> Oh yeah, the leopard is there. Oh, that's cool. So, what are we going now? You know, it's do you like, think kids get jaded if they're if they have such a kind of? I mean, because this is an exciting childhood for someone. Do you, do you worry your kids will grow up kind of bored? No, they're full of life and spunk and really funny, and they have a very large view of the world. I think every kid in America should be forced to travel to another country because you kind of not only do you get a sense of where you are in the bigger picture but you get a sense of the fact that if you're making decisions about foreign policy in your country it definitely affects other countries and we don't have a we don't really understand that. I mean, 9 11 brought yeah. that a little bit. People were like, why? What, what happened? You know, and then you had to start paying attention to what had gone down 10 years before. Yeah. But um, I, no, I think it's great that they see all kinds of people and they just had seen a lot of those animal specials, those, <laughs> you know, and so they were like, oh, yeah, I realize that. They liked the night vision goggles and they were, ch you know. I have them, but only because Brad Pitt's house is across the thing from me. <laughs> He's gorgeous. We're out of time. Listen, it's a fabulous movie, and I have seen it. And, uh, and, and, and the lovely Susan Sarandon. We'll be right back. My first guest tonight is an Oscar-winning actress. She's a very, very attractive woman. And I'm talking... Wow. <laughs> She's the type of person you'd move your knitting aside, no problem. <laughs> She's got a fantastic new film out called Jeff Who Lives at Home, which is in theatres March the 16th. Take a look at this. There may be trouble lying. Please welcome the lovely Susan Sarandon, everybody. Susan. Susan, you look rather well this evening, if you don't mind me saying so. I don't mind at all. I made an effort. You, you, uh, well, whatever you're doing, it's paid off in, uh, 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 uh. No, it's good. You look great. Thanks. Is your voice very husky this evening, too? 
Oh, I hope so. Oh, it's very nice. <laughs> That's very nice. No, you, you I'm asked... sure you can get me revved up and it'll go higher. We'll see. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 that one. That... Have you ever made that noise for any reason, ever? Probably. I, Sometimes I... I think I feel in certain situations <laughs> that I'm making that noise, but then I find out afterwards I didn't. How do you find out? By the use of recordings? No, I ask, was I making that noise? And they say, I don't know, I wasn't listening. That's good, though, if nobody's listening, because... Very good. Yeah. I'm kind of going, ooh, inside right now. <laughs> Tell me about the film, because, as you know, I haven't seen it yet. And the reason why is... Go with the Ragnar Oh! Come on! No, that's no excuse. No, no, that is my excuse. That's if I ridiculous. See... What? Well, I haven't seen your show either. <laughs> You've so, even been on this show twice. That was just, like, mean. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't have a TV. I know your reputation. So that was the... My reputation? Yeah. What is my reputation? Oh, you have a bit of a twinkle there, don't you? Only for special friends. Well, I'm very happy to get that twinkle. Oh, you're getting it right now. <laughs> I'm giving you everything I've got right now. This is it. It's, so it's gotten warmer in here. It was so cold in it, the beginning. You know, I feel a bit warmer all of a sudden. Has yeah. it gotten warmer, or am I, or am I ooh, inside the? Uh, what's the film? Because uh, the film's about a boy who lives at home. Jeff. Yes, Jeff. See, not, I have seen it. Not the robot, but the, no, no. Yeah. He's in the dark. I'm With the J, not the. Um, it's about a family. It's about um, Jeff who lives at home, and mm. this day takes place in one day. And he's a stoner who lives in his mom's basement. And the other son, who's Ed Helms, um, does everything right, but he's also miserable. And a lot of things happen in this one day. Jeff's mm -hmm. trying to figure out the meaning of the universe. I'm in a horrible job that I don't like, and I'm kind of lonely. And Ed. You're talking about me now. We're talking just... about me now, right? <laughs> and Ed has just bought a Porsche, much against his wife's. Um, you're giving away the whole movie here. No, I certainly am not. No, That's the setup. You see now, are you at all interested? Yes, I am. But okay. I, look, I'm interested anyway. I will see the movie. I I've... will see the movie, as will everyone else. <laughs> you see? Now, you... It's a very good movie. I've heard it's it's very good. funny. It's as desperation is. And it's about family. And if you're watching the show, you know about funny desperation. <laughs> That's totally up your alley. Yeah, that's what I do. That's kind of my bellywick. I know. You have an amazing amount of energy. Well, I'm hungry. Did they drug test you? Yeah. I stopped drugs a long time ago, but I, I kind of think there's still some around. <laughs> I'm a New Yorker, so I don't know exactly where they are here. <laughs> I can find you some if you need. What do you need? I don't know. I have a premiere to go to. It can't be too... Uh... Don't want to be too up. Don't want to be too down. Don't want to be too up too... No, yeah, no. Advil's what Just you're after. Right. Yeah, so... <laughs> oh, now, your kids, are your kids still at home? On and off. Well, yeah, my 19-year-old's at school, and he's on the East Coast, so he's home, and he brings a lot of friends. And my next son uh, graduated remarkably in four years. Is that... I think we have to give him an applause for that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And, um, I, don't, I don't know what that means. I, I dropped out of high school. What, what is it? I, I swear they I They know what it means. Right, it's okay, not yeah, worth yeah, discussing. Yeah, right. um, and uh, so I will like them at home. My daughter's married. She pops in every now and then, but she's not really living there. And um, I don't mind at all kids coming home. I think that the problem is just when you have to pick up after them and they don't contribute anything and they expect you to my do kids everything are, my for kids them. My kids are like that right now. They're like, what, two? Uh, one's uh, just over a year old and the other one's ten. <laughs> Well, he should probably be working by the now. The ten-year-old, yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. The ten-year-old. Yeah. Well, he's actually it's getting tough for him now because he's going to the sixth grade soon. That's where it all kicks in. Is that where? No, fifth grade is when you change classes. Is it? I think so. Is I should pay more grade? attention, really. I, I'm a terrible father. Do you know the school he's in? Do you know which? Yeah, one he's I in? drop him off there every morning. Yeah. Okay. Well, then you're not so bad. No, no, it's fine. No, no, no. Well, do, when you want them to be home, if, I mean, the economy's so bad, you can have. 
two degrees and you can't get a job or you can have a job and be laid off and I think it's really lucky if you have somewhere to go. Yeah, I think it's great. Yeah, I would let my kids live in the basement as long as they like. In fact, I'd put them in Do you have a yeah. basement? I do not. I do not have a basement. That's true. I, but I've got, I've got a wide I, array of closets. I think that's illegal to put your child in the yeah, closet. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But, do you have a tattoo on your wrist? I do, and I have one on my back. I big one on my back. That one is A-N-D-A-N-D -A -A for a new dawn, a new day. Oh, nice. Just to remind you that you have another chance. Someone does something mean or you do something stupid. Uh, and you have what? Yeah, I go... Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, I go all the way up, right round. That's sufficient. <laughs> That's good. Really? All the way up, really? It's all the way right round. Were you in prison? <coughs> sure. No. That is, uh... That's Benjamin Franklin's. Dude. How old were you when you did that? About 48. <laughs> I have one here. Let me see what you got at the back there. Oh, that is saucy. Do I have to go down? <laughs> wow. It's my kid's initials. It's nothing so. I know, but it's nice, though. It looks great. And then there's, you got all that spine action going on down there. <laughs> I just totally looked down your dress. You know that. I mean, it's not the same looking down the back of the dress. Well, that's what I, that's that's, what I was going to say. You're Maybe. exaggerating a little bit. No, you've got very, you've got very nice spine. You know, you, Thank you. Thank really, you. I'm not a chiropractor, but I know sexy when I see it. Thank you. You have to take a break. I know. I, I saw that thing. I kind of ignore it. <laughs> you want to take a break? I'm very happy. I mean, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> How long they, can we wait before they get really upset? Oh, they were, they, they've been upset for about four or five years now. <laughs> what he does, you see, is he makes the clock run out about a minute before. He thinks that I don't know, but I know. <laughs> so I now wait two minutes. When I hosted this show before you... Yeah, that's you, right, you did it, yeah. We made a martini on the, during the show. Yeah, you, you should I can't try do that. that. No, you I can't, can't do that, that. no. Bye. Well, I'm sober. If I start drinking, I'll, the commercial breaks will go all over the place. That's probably true. Yeah. I didn't mean to bring that up. I just thought since you were drug testing that maybe... No, 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 I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sensitive about it at all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Susan Sullivan. Welcome back. I'm here with Susan Sarandon. We're out of time, Susan. Okay. I say that early because it usually takes a long time for me to finish. What exactly were you talking about when you just said that? Well, I was talking actually about broadcasting, you know, and, and finishing the oh, conversation. Oh, oh. But I, but I was alluding, the subtext was I was trying to sell myself as a, some kind of sexual athlete to you. Because it takes you a long time to finish? Well, sufficient time. Not too long. Not like, oh, can I please go on with my knitting? Maura! Okay. I, what are you doing with your dress there? If it, it, look, if I it's was, really bugging you, just you... take the thing off. <laughs> I... I think when you looked at my touch... Oh, thank you. No, no, no. You can't take your clothes off once you have grown sons. It's so rude. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, no, they'd get very angry. When they saw... Uh, they did some kind of a thing for me at Lincoln Center, and the kids were younger then, and they showed... You know, they weren't really nudity, but they were, you could tell something must have happened. And when I looked over, and my two boys were just like, <laughs> And my daughter was laughing her ass off. So afterwards, I said, well, I, I, when everything was finished, the, the older one, who was about, I don't know, maybe eight, said, did it never occur to you that you might have children? <laughs> And I said, well, Miles, what do you think? He's like three years younger. And I said, well, what did you think? And he said, it was great, Mom, but scarring. <laughs> and my daughter nice. just thought it was hilarious. That's so I, I learned my lesson. I have to be careful from now and I have no excuse for nudity. <laughs> that is my excuse, actually. <laughs> so I don't well, have in that to case, that we really are out of time. <laughs> So, uh, what do you, how do you want to finish this? Do you want to uh, do awkward pause? You, uh, would you like a mouth organ? Did we already do the awkward pause? Uh, we kind of would be doing it all night, really. I it? would go for the perfected awkward pause. That's some big talk. I think we can do it. 
<laughs> I think we can do it if we just think... You could go for the big cash prize. You do know that, right? <sighs> no, I like the idea of, like... <laughs> Reminiscing about something like in high school or some. All right, then a nostalgic, really... perfect, awkward pause. All right, I'm up to it. Better studio and a better audience. And yeah, it's a all the and... it's all the better for you being Thank here. You. you look lovely. It's lovely to see Thank you. And I, I, I listen. I, I do want to talk to you about this movie, but before I do, can you tell? How do you feel about Katie Couric? <laughs> well, actually, I was just on her show, and I wondered why she was kind of strange when your name came up. No, really? <laughs> I don't understand. But I love Katie Couric. I don't understand. Oh, well, did anything happen between you? No, see, something? you're even doing it. <laughs> Does that ever happen? Is that ever happened to you, Susan, it in the tabloids? All the time. Really? And I just think it's an art form you have to embrace. I, I'm it's kind fiction. Of... You have to just accept it as fiction. And sometimes they're very creative, like they can make stories out of things that don't exist at all. Right. That's very creative. Yeah, it's uh, it, it, <laughs> it happened. I, I I I am a bit jealous of Katie Couric. She's lovely. She's very lovely. Yeah, I'd like to be Katie. I dress up as her sometimes. <laughs> That's why you would be very good in Cloud Atlas. Everyone's playing different genders. Yeah, tell me about this. You play... Uh, you could wear all your wigs. I like your haircut, by the way. You've said that twice. Yeah. You really do like this haircut. Well, I didn't know... I wanted them to know you got a haircut. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No. <laughs> what are you doing? What, you're, you're using your powers of uh, stardom Absolutely. to manipulate the audience. Away from... This is communication. This is interaction. You forget now that everyone does video games. This is real interaction. This is about as much interaction as I want with these people. I want a big, <laughs> big fans. Well, and... now at Katie Kirk's audience, there aren't as many men. So you see, your nighttime, you have a more equal distribution. I'm looking at the demographic. I'd much here. rather you didn't bring up Katie Kirk. All right. <laughs> For I have sour grapes. <laughs> How do you deal? Do you ever get feel jealousy, or are you more evolved than that? <laughs> that when you feel jealous, mm -hmm. you just have to say, "Oh my God, I'm so jealous of that." And your it goes away. When your friend, well, yeah, then it doesn't turn into anything more. You're allowed to feel some envy. I mean, you just don't what makes hold you feel, on to what it. What makes you feel envy? Could you think of anything that makes you feel envious of well, other people? Well, supposing you saw like a, 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 you know, a great part, and you know that's my job. And if there's someone, you know, if you get to, even though she's really good, right? You think, oh, I could have really, you know, kicked well, you, butt in that part, and mm. that was too bad. But so, but it goes away. It goes away. I'm also have a little bit of waste envy. Waste envy? Yeah, well, after you have a few kids and whatever, you go, oh, look at that waste. My daughter's this little bitty waste. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I know she, what you mean. She doesn't do any, she's so strong. And she's she had any kids like yet? Taking kickboxing. No. Well, there you are, you know. I know. No, I know, I know it's not rational, but yeah. I have that. That's well, it. I don't think it is, though, that kind of Anyway, this is about the, the film's about that, though, isn't it? Like, you, you don't let your emotions uh, 
direct your future and all that kind no, of stuff. No, that's not what it's about. Well, that's what I decided it's about. <laughs> and by the way... That's what... Katie called me and said, ask her about that. She was on the show and... By the way, when I was standing backstage and they said, move because the horse will be coming through here. <laughs> like, what is... <laughs> that makes me so happy that that, that, that they said Rogers that. Mr. Rogers is back. No, 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 not Mr. Through. Rogers. What are you talking about? I yeah, your movie. You're going to talk my about movie, the movie. My yeah, movie, yeah, yeah, my yeah. Movie. Okay, what it's about is that. All right, I'm going to try to do this as briefly as possible because it is an abstract. The core of a human being, regardless of their gender, their color, their age, whatever, is all the same. And as you go through life, you affect people. You may not even understand how you affect people, but whether or not it's crime or kindness, everything plays out. Some of the people in, in this movie are searching for people that they loved or interacted with, and it goes through many stories and many countries and many time periods. Um, and then you get to see people playing all these different bad guys and good guys, and I play a man at one point and people play women and I, I, so, you, I can see a couple of problems for you playing a man it's a very <laughs> <laughs> no I'm envy proud. yeah I'm very proud of those yeah problems. I'm, I'm, ge <laughs> I'm guessing I am guessing that they engender a little bit of envy out there as well you may be having waist envy but there is there's booby in I think that women, I love looking at women. Me too. And, and uh, so I don't think that's, well, I think women can be more generous towards, I don't know, I don't know. I can't speak for women in general, but people are nodding. I think the uh, female body is really glorious. It's less Unpleasant looking? Yeah. <laughs> Some of the aspects of I, I, isolate certain areas of the male anatomy, it's pretty funny. I have to say, whenever I've seen uh, male genitalia, which is not that often except my own, I, uh, I have to say, somebody's playing a joke here. This is absurd. Out of context, it doesn't translate as well as various parts of the female body. Right, exactly. We, yeah. yeah, yeah. So anyway, the film, the... Uh... So it's a reincarnation thing then? Well it's not you know exactly this person comes back as that person it kind of you know energy can't be destroyed so where does that energy go when you lose someone and you see their body they're not there so what is that essence of that person but what it's talking about is how you have to take responsibility have you understand all the heroes in this movie none of them start out as heroes they start out as ordinary people who end up in a moment where they have to make a decision and it has ramifications and sometimes you don't even know how you're affecting somebody with a random act of kindness or a smile or that's or why i try not horrible. to do any of that because <laughs> you don't know you might think you're being kind and then suddenly there's a tidal wave or something this may not be the movie for you yeah i'm thinking no of course no not. no it's Listen, a beautiful movie it it's does really look gorgeous nice. and it's a lot of different movies but in the very beginning you're introduced to a number of characters before the credits even come so if you're the kind of person that when you go to the south of france you're upset because they don't have hot dogs this is not for you because it's a different kind of a format so if you don't have an open mind but you don't have to figure it out no no you wait just wait let wait. it go over you you just let it wash over you and they have hot dogs in the, the south of france I've been to the south of France. But they're airport. not like they are in New York. Come on. Well, that's true. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you if you go into a movie thinking I have to know in the first two minutes that I've seen this movie before, it's not a sequel. Right. That's well, then that's that's, that's you've lost you half have your an audience open mind right there. Or you, could, you could read the book. I'm like when I come here, I'm open. I don't think that you know we're going to get in a row or we're, I'm just like here. How, how could we get in a row? Well, I've been reading what they say about you. Oh! friend Susan Sarandon we had a we had a big argument uh, during the commercial break but we're better now right we're we, better we worked through it we, we worked we, through it yeah our skill set came in handy your skill set came My in handy skill set came in handy absolutely in fact 
We've made it up, and I've invited him. We're opening a new spin, which is my ping pong franchise club bar restaurant in downtown L.A. at the Standard Hotel. Oh, uh, then I'll be there. You know me. Well, in December, we'll book it for you. In, you de in December? And, well, because we're opening the end of November, so if you figure out if you want to be joyful and you can play ping pong, you don't have to drink anything but non-alcoholic beverages. Okay. And you can and play ping pong and play ping pong and it dance. Sounds like, and carry it sounds like sounds like juvie. It, uh... It's very sexy because you play opposite someone, and it's a very cool. It's not. It's not like the gym. It's it's got great lighting and people drink and there's a DJ and there's beautiful tables that have these crazy. They're red tables. If anyone plays ping pong, you don't see that. And then there's people walking around picking up the balls for you with T-shirts that say, "Balls are my business." Yeah, that's right. Jeff, yes. Yeah. 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 Jeff, Jeff loves it. Does Jeff likes a bit of ping pong. Oh man, I think I know what I'm going to be doing in December. Does Jeff play? Do you play hard bat or what do you play? No, I just like picking up balls. <laughs> I didn't know you were on that team. Oh so. yeah. Oh yeah. No, he's I very outspoken you. about being on that team. Oh good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know. Good for him, I say. So you'll come, I guess. <laughs> To, to the ping pong. pong! Yeah, absolutely! Uh, piece of fruit? Uh, we're out of time. I thought I could uh, maybe tempt you with something uh, squishy. Where has that food been? Yeah, it's, uh, it's just it's come straight from the... I went out to the grocers today, got my fruit, got my tabloid magazine, and now I'm back. Yeah, that's a dragon fruit. Uh-huh. Yeah. And do you have something to say about this, Mr. Rogers? What is that? <laughs> No, I, I, a little I, ditty you want to sing? No, no, it's, no I, I prefer the, the. I like this. I'm, I'm very fond of these. Can you? And then, does it like explode or anything? Man, if you can make that work like a grenade, I, I, I'd be very impressed. I like that. That's a very. It's good nice, design. isn't it? And it makes the things around it look bigger. I'm always looking for something like that. You just. There's nothing that's safe here, is there? No subject. Not you, that's what anyway. I like yeah. About it. Don't pull that one. Oh, sorry. What else do we have here? A hairy coconut? <laughs> there is a lot of people shaving their coconuts these days. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I've gone down that particular uh, shaved coconut route, and I have to tell you, a couple of days later, you wish you hadn't. I actually don't like the idea of any of the trimming of coconuts at all. Oh, my God, you're so quiet. Susan Sarandon, everybody. to see you, but not as excited to see you as I am. Well, thank you very much. Oh, I'm calling you Suzanne Sarandon. And I am calling you Monsieur Ferguson. I like that. Keep talking like that. All right, I will. All right. How are you? You look great. And Obviously, I'm in great shape with fish and everything. I'm in yeah, my, what's that my about? action I, movie. It's uh, your famous love of ping pong has led you into the ping pong movie scene. What's I'm, going on? And that's just it. That's what's going on. Really? You, <laughs> you wanted to make a because well, it was it, it was a sweet script. It's kind of like. Um, it's kind of like the Karate Kid, except with ping pong, and I'm Mr. Miyagi. Oh well, okay, got it. Yeah, yeah, I fine. I feel like in a like... nutshell, that's that's what it is. And so you wax on, wax off, but with balls. No, I drink a lot of beer. <laughs> but that's cute. No, I'm uh, just saying. I drink beer and tell him why I quit being a professional. It's kind of the anti Mr. Miyagi. Well, why would one quit being a professional ping pong player? It's the, what everyone does. Because you want to have a life and not practice every day. That's what I say. But I you... wanted to have fun, and I decided it was just too much. Ping pong? Is this a... <laughs> 
being People a are professional. mystified because they think ping pong is fun, as do no, I. No, ping pong is so much fun, but not as a professional, necessarily, unless you're really OCD or something. I mean, these athletes, by the way, has the Ranger game started? Uh, yeah, it's finished, and uh, uh, everybody's doing great so far. It's game one, who cares? Uh, it is game care. one, isn't it? It is game one. Yeah, yeah, it's not game With seven. With your team. Well, what is my team? Are you the... You're L.A., right? Mm, I don't know. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Are you a Rangers fan? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, no. Uh, oh, uh, can uh, we get along? Uh, uh huh. Uh, no, I don't. I, I didn't grow up watching hockey, so I'm not kind of obsessed with it in that way. I would like to see L.A. doing it again, but, you know, it's like, I don't uh, really. <laughs> Did you grow up going to hockey? No, but my family's really into it. My boys are really into it. Oh, okay. Well. And grew up. Not me, but them. They grew up. I didn't they grew up. up well, they, you did the right thing. Yeah. You had children. They grew up. They grew up. Congratulations. Yeah. That's wonderful. Thanks. Do they play ping pong? Um, yeah. So everybody plays ping pong, right? How many people had like went no. to play to camp? <laughs> play in their basement. They play it so easy. It's everybody like... plays. Even Al Qaeda, like, okay, we'll play a little ping pong. <laughs> But that's it. No more America. Just the ping pong. And now you're going to get me really in trouble. Why I'm already get... suspect in some areas. And oh, oh no, something. you're fine. Oh, you think like you're trying to destroy America yeah, using again, ping pong? Again. No. Come on. No, ping pong. You know, right? you? Little, oh, little girls can beat their dads, and you know it doesn't matter if you're big or a guy. Or, I mean, it cuts across gender, age, everything. I love that about it. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Like when you play that. basketball, you have to stop after a while. And you know when you play basketball that you suck if you can't get in it. If you play ping pong, everyone thinks they're good till they play someone better. Well. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that life, though? <laughs> you think you're good until you meet something that reminds you you're not? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen you for a while. You've got ping pong I know, clubs, it's hard, our long-distance relationship. Yeah, I know, it's been too... I think we should I see you more often. I kind of gave up on that. You gave up? I gave up on, on me? you completely. <laughs> it's too hard to maintain. Well, I'm getting older. <laughs> I am. Well, I, yeah, every lucky one is getting older. Well, that's but, true. Yeah, absolutely. But that Have I seen this before? Have I commented on this before? No, I don't know. Have you seen this before? What, you've got a... <gasps> Susan Sarandon! <laughs> you've got a tattoo down your spine! Wait, I do. Uh, wait, right! <laughs> what, what is it... Oh, may I ask what it is all? Those are my kids' uh, initials. Oh, right. But this is A-N-D-A-N-D -A -A -D for a new dawn, a new day. A new dawn, a new day was it? See, now, I only get tattoos when something uh, momentous happens in my life. Uh, is that when you get them? I got it to... Well, I think waking up every morning is pretty momentous, so yeah. that's what that's about. See, I got this one when I became oh. a citizen. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, look at that. See that? That's... <laughs> That's when you became what kind of a citizen? Uh, well, I became a proud Swedish citizen. <laughs> what do you mean, what kind of a citizen? Well, I became an American it citizen. It looks like the American Revolution or some, oh, something. Like, that's pretty scary. No, well, yeah, well, that's what the... How far up does it... Well, I don't well, know. all the way around. Oh. It's, that, it's just snake all the way around. All the way around. You start, see there? How long did that take? Uh, well, how long do you want to take? <laughs> I like it slow, actually, okay. and gentle. <laughs> gentle? <laughs> gentle. The whole time? Um, yeah, remember that song, Slow Hand? I like that song. Okay, like got it. it. Yeah, know where you're going, yeah. <laughs> Never uh, get a tattoo here. Oh, yeah? No, no, just right on your hand there. Yeah. It hurts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, then say. never have a baby either. That hurts. Wait, wait. It's not a competition. I don't know why you're applauding. Yeah, why would you applaud that? Thank There's you. absolutely no way I'm going to have a baby. Because it's true. It does hurt. And all these women that are nodding, good for you. You did it. Yeah. Good for you for having babies. Good for everyone for having a mother. Yes, absolutely. Well done, America. Yes. What about when, uh, when my kids were born, I was there. I was, you know, I saw what was going on and I was not prepared. I thought, I thought the baby came out. The baby is one of many things that are going on. 
Right. There's it, like there's like a whole circus. It's it's very sci-fi. That's y it really is. Uh, my daughter's having a baby in August, and I'm going to be there. You're going to be a grandmother? I am, and this is my uh, grandma's name. I'm trying to name. keep my head away from here, but all right, this where you my got? My grandma's uh, name. My grandma's name is Honey. You, what? That's your grandma's name, or that's your grandma's name? No, that's the name that the little baby's going to call me when the baby can say it. They're instead of, me, instead of, of grandma. Take your hand away. It's fine. You're ruining the view. Uh, they, uh, <laughs> Honey? You've decided honey. you're going to be called it's a Honey? It's southern designation, yeah. I was trying to think of something different. Everybody's, yeah. That's honey. Yeah, I like it. That's good, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, my daughter just had this uh, made for me uh, because she just had her baby shower in New York this past weekend. And then she's having the baby soon. August. Yeah, that's soon. -ish. That's yeah, yeah. 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 And you, this will be the first time then you're... Yeah, wow. yeah. Wow. I'm excited. Yeah, well, good. I'm, I'm amazed, uh, kind of, I guess. That's what You what? don't look like any grandma I've ever seen. Wait until you see Tammy. I'll come back for that. Then I play her grandma, Melissa McCarthy's grandma. Oh, really? A drunken, pill-popping grandma. Why are you always playing drunks? <laughs> I, that's the first drunk I play. Uh, now I played three in a row, but that was the first. Th that's the first one that's coming out. Two more after that. But this one, I just drink beer. I'm not a drunk. I don't think. Not really. That's but called denial, I, Susan. I, I don't know what happened. I just got three in a row where I was addicted to booze and alcohol. Yeah, and I don't even like to drink. I don't drink. Neither do I, but yeah, that's I because I am addicted to it. Yeah. <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Are we really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're wow, back here again. Sad. Yeah, we were. We were just talking about. Did you hear any of that that we just said? No, but, no, they didn't right, hear good. any of it. Did, no, okay, fine. You didn't hear any of it, did you? <laughs> well, we're out of time. Okay. Do you want an awkward pause or want to make out or something? <laughs> Is it an awkward make out or and an awkward pause? I think if we make out, it'll get awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Well, but I'm willing to take that chance. Um, I think maybe I'd like to just know what the Rangers are doing first. Before well, let's have a think it. about that. How, nothing how so far? It's, it's, it's nothing so far. Nobody yeah, yeah, scored yet? Nothing so far. Nothing so far. far. Nobody scored so far. Then we just have an awkward pause. Okay. If they had scored, I would say make out because then you have something to say. I celebrate. think they just scored. <laughs> We should actually think of someone to write a movie for us. Why don't you do that when we you're should free? We should, if they write a movie for us, Why we could make out in the movie and then it doesn't count. That's we're exactly. we're acting! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm into that. Have somebody write something or you write something. Uh, okay. Right? That would be cool. Okay. Um, I'll get right on it. All right. What do you want to play? Uh, what is I'm going to play. Uh, I'm going to play. I'm just going to make some notes. Uh, you're going to play Honey. All right. A notoriously promiscuous drunk. All right. What's my character's arc? Um, you get sober, but remain promiscuous. Uh, I like that. Uh, I like that. And I'll play Chad. <laughs> I'm... Hanging Chad? Yeah, I'm, I'm Chad, a reformed porn star. Well, Chad has to have a real name that's not so ridiculous. Oh, sorry, anyone that's Chad. <laughs> but Chad's all Chad. across America. I'm like, oh, come on! I don't know. All right, I'll be called Randy then. Randy, a reformed porn star. I got my notes ready. I'll get started on it. But what is your arc? What is your arc? Well, I, you Randy. Know, I, well, I have been. You know the uh, uh, was it Kipling that said promiscuity desensitizes you? But uh, what happens is that through true love with honey, the reformed drunk uh, Randy becomes uh, you know uh, sensitive again and. and but stuff. not celibate. No, man. Oh. No, no. <laughs> He's Randy Chad. <laughs> Or Chad Randy, I don't know. Look, can we get out of here? We're done. All right. Susan Zelandon, everybody. <laughs>